Poundland. Bought some big wiggly eyes just for some of my projects. I also bought stainless steel reusable straws. Now I think they're designed to actually bend along those um, I don't know if you can see that on the camera or not. They've got the lines across in there. I don't want them to bend and I don't want them as straws. I've been looking online because I want a prop shaft for one of my boats. And brass, steel, copper tubes are all stupid prices. Um, they're sort of selling them as hobby grade, oh, hobby grade, hobby items. So they send, sell you a single short item for about 10 quid or something. Well, this was a pound for four of them. This is what we're talking about. I want a prop shaft to go up through here. To link up to that motor and yeah silly prices bear in mind I don't like spending anything over a pound on anything because I'm like that you're probably talking 10 or 12 quid for a fairly short prop shaft I mean fair, fair enough it'll have seals on both ends and the shaft up the middle I intend to use a bicycle spoke because that's about two millimeter diameter and we'll use one of these and I'll have to design some sort of seal. Oh yeah, I don't know if they bend there or not. I don't know, oh it doesn't feel like it does. Oh, that's good. I did just want a single shaft. So there you are, stainless steel shaft. I don't know what length that is. What's that, about 20 centimetres? Just a guess. That's what it actually tells us. I could measure it, but uh, that means getting out of my chair. But that's going to be plenty long enough. But I do need to work out some sort of um, plastic seal at either end. I could 3D print something, but with the shaft spinning fast in PLA, the PLA you will go soft and melt. So I might have to think of something else. See if I can find some sort of nylon that I can put in either end, and that would do the job. But yeah, I thought that was a handy little idea. Whether it works or not, we will find out when I finish the boat. On the subject of trying to make use of these stainless steel reusable straws for prop shafts, I had a couple of ideas. I've got quite a few of these nylon um, worm screws, I think it's the best way to call them, or spiral um, gears. And I've cut the end off with a Dremel. And that does actually more or less fit in there with a little bit of help. So that's one option. I'd have to drill it out to the right diameter again. But that's one option. We could put one of them in either end. The other option is I've got rather a lot of these brass nozzles from my 3D printer. When they get bunged up, rather than trying to clean them, it's a lot easier just to swap them out. So I've drilled that one to the diameter for the uh, bicycle spoke, which is what I use for the actual prop shaft itself. It's a bit of a tight fit on there at the moment. And I put it in a drill. Let's see if I can show you what I did. Put it in a drill, 
and simply hold that against the file. To take the edge off the thread. To get it to be a good tight fit on there. Need a little bit more. Right, so that's a nice tight fit on there. Can't actually use this one yet because I haven't drilled it out. But if I then go around there with the edge of my cutters, which I won't do at this moment, but if I go around the edge there, that'll crimp it over the end of the thread there, where the thread ends and there's a bit of a clear spot. And that should hold that in place. So that's what I'll do with that. Just crimp that down and then I'll have nice brass fittings on either end of my prop shaft. That's my theory. Well, let's cut it to the length I want. I think I probably ought to fill it with grease. Now, ideally, I'd use some really thick grease, but I don't have any really thick grease. In fact, I think all I've got is probably household uh, petroleum jelly or Vaseline by other names. So I'll fill it with that and then I'll crimp the ends over like I said to help it grip and that will be our prop shaft to go up in there. I have to decide what propeller I want to put on it. I might leave that threaded end on the bicycle spoke because that might help actually grip the propeller. Oh, that will cross hatch it. Some little nicks from there. And then at the other end, to connect to the motor, somewhere I've got some proper little connectors with two screws in them. One of the uh, kits I got actually uses these as the connector because it's a tight fit. So you push push it halfway onto the shaft and halfway onto the motor shaft, and that does the job. For the motor, this one came out of a beard trimmer, or yeah, I think it was a beard trimmer, something like that. It's quite a good meaty motor. It's got proper carbon brushes on it. Um. That's bigger than a 130. Uh, I can't remember what size that is, but I would say that's bigger than 130. Um, and I've got a little bit of a little bit of random aluminium plate here that I might fold up to go round that and give us a little bit of a um, heat sink effect. It's funny back in the old days when I was a lad there was never any shortage of getting hold of bits of aluminium and metal plate and that sort of thing you could always find it but nowadays everything's plastic well that's the rough cut for the heat sink I need to cut a little bit out of there just to make sure the battery contacts don't make contact with the aluminium um, saddle and ideally it'd be nice to get some little aluminium pop rivets to link that together might have a look in little sometimes they have a little tool for doing pop riveting might be a handy addition to my well, thinking about it I say a handy addition to my pool tools Pretty sure I've got an aluminium pop riveter. Hmm. 
haven't used it since gosh that would have been the 80s I doubt very much whether I'll be able to find that in my toolkit might be quicker and easier just to go and have a look see what we can find in the shops I've just realized I may not have made the link to link this boat and these Poundland reusable stainless steel straws. Um, I need a prop shaft. So I've been looking online for brass tubing, aluminium tubing, um, or proper ready-made prop shafts, and they're all crazy prices. That's a pound for stainless steel tubes. So I'm going to make use of them. Uh, motor, getting out of sequence here. I'm going to use that one that came out of a um, beard trimmer. Or, yeah, electric beard trimmer. Battery, uh, actually in my steel box out the way. Right, these, got two of them, 2S LiPo, these came out of, uh, I think they're, they were Alexa boosters or something like that, um, I'll see if I can find the video, it was something inspired by BigClive.com, so I went and bought some it was cheaper to buy these whatever they were units than it was to buy a 2s lipo battery so i got them put suitable tags on them and as you may have noticed i've already made a space for them so prop shaft got to go up under there motor and then we'll need a bit of space here for the uh, receiver and we'll need a servo on the back and stick a rudder on the back there somewhere. Yeah, this is all out of sequence, but uh, that's what's going on. Thanks for watching. If you want more information, check down below in the video description. If you like this video, you might like this one up here. And if you want to subscribe, you can check out my channel over here. Up here is my latest video on my channel. And down here is a video playlist associated with the video you've just watched. Thanks again for watching.